it's january 25th really early it's such a beautiful day out seriously it's sunny and i love the way it feels it's been raining the past couple of days so I've been doing some research on green onions and noticed that a lot of people like to space it out a little bit. So I'm gonna try that out. And some people also like to do it in bunches, just like how I did. I had them exactly how they were from the store. So I decided to try it and space it out. And I'm gonna work on that for you guys and see how it goes. Actually, I should do an experiment, huh? I should do um, a bunch and then have a bunch spaced out. So on this side, I'm gonna be doing four inches just because I am out of space and I don't have enough garden. Um, I don't have enough garden bed, although I do have some, what do you call it? What is this? Oh, I'm gonna stagger it. So this one, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna do less and doing the staggered method again. So we'll see how this goes. So the squash is not doing well either. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to use this whole area because the squash is not doing well either. And I'm so bummed. That's okay. We tried, right? So this is going to be all green onion. Yay! So I have the space now. Staggering. Staggering again. I really love gardening, you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing. So please share tips and tricks because I want to get better at homesteading. Because I want to learn to be semi self sustainable. You know, I'm not trying to be one of those crazy off the grid people. However, I do want to learn. <laughs> how to survive. Oh, here, look, green, I think the green beans are, yeah, gotta toss that. So I'm almost finished here. But yeah, you guys, if you guys have any tips or tricks, please share with me, because I wanna learn, because I, I don't have a green thumb. I really don't, but I'm learning, and I'm taking you all along the journey you guys can learn from my mistakes. You guys can help me with my mistakes because I'm pretty sure some of y'all have a green thumb. So I am almost done planting all the green onions. Oh my gosh, I am a shit show, y'all. Welcome to Gina Shit Show Homestead, <laughs> where I make all the mistakes and not knowing what I'm doing. But yeah. I really enjoy doing stuff that I'm not used to because that's the fun about life. Yeah, so this is spread out not that much and we're gonna see how it does on this side versus the other side. But let's let's do an update on my garden. Okay, the carrots, look how beautiful they're growing back there. And this is all in a garden bed. Uh, I probably should have done the carrots in the ground so they can grow bigger, but I don't know what brand or type of carrots what breed of carrots it is. Swiss chard is turning out so beautiful. I, I believe me and the boys planted this back in early November. And then here's the beets right there. And I honestly don't know what plant or what veggie is growing right here because that's not beets. I don't know what happened. I don't know if like a bird grabbed some of the seeds and dropped it, placed all of this stuff here. The cauliflower, I think, I believe this is the cauliflower, I'm not sure, or it died, but you guys, I'm still trying to figure out what this is. I don't know. And then here is the kohlrabi white Vienna. It is absolutely stunning. It is January 25th, so it's been about two and a half months-ish, November, December, yeah, two and a half months. And then here's cabbage in the back. It, I don't know how it's going, you guys. I don't know if I planted it wrong. Am I supposed to spread it apart? Because I just did it in the bunches. Am I supposed to take these all apart and, and do it separate like the green onions? I should actually Google or YouTube that. 
here's the kale it's growing really 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 slow you guys and then on this side of the garden bed i am doing bunches of green onions about two or three of them so i just want to see how they grow compared to the ones that are spaced out individually i'm going to take you guys into our run to see an update on our chickens we have 17 hens one rooster and one turkey so we're gonna say hi to them. I got these new treats, uh, treat holders. I'm gonna show you guys. I like it because you don't put the treats on the ground. And so they could eat their, their scratch and all the, the scraps that I give them into it. So they're, they're a little bit more cleaner. You can hear Fabio. What's up, dude? Hi, handsome. And Scotty made this perch. Oops, I didn't mean to zoom in. He made this perch, he made that perch over there. So these are the treats, the treat holders that I got for them. So you, as you can see, I put scratch in there. And I like this better so you don't, you're not throwing scratch all over the ground where they poop and stuff. So it's a lot more sanitary for them. And look at them, they're doing a bunch of dirt baths they are staying in the sun. I guess they really love it. It's one of those rare days in January where it's warm. So it's a beautiful day. Hi guys. Let's go see if they're... Let's go check on Mrs. Butterball. Hi mamas. She's been on antibiotics. Hi mamas. And she's doing so much better, you guys. Ugh so proud of you mamas she gotten so big too she's hella big and we gotta shave queen is a queen izzy boo her butt because she has a bum bum and it's always dirty from her poop what's up guys <laughs> 